let's discuss the type of stocks available in stock market stocks are categorized based on their market capitalization which is calculated by multiplying the total number of shares of a company by its current stock price the three main categories of stock based on market capitalizations are large cap mid cap and small cap if a company is uh, has issued let's say 100 stocks and price of each stock is 100 rupees then the market capitalization is 10000 rupees so large cap stocks these are the stocks of companies which has highest market capitalization large cap stocks are of typically well established stable and widely recognized industry stocks they usually have a market capitalization more than 2000 20000 crore investor often consider large cap stocks as more conservative instruments as they tend to have lower risk compared to smaller companies they are like elephant make small but definite move the next category is mid cap stocks mid cap stocks represent companies which have moderate market capitalization between 20000 to 5000 crore they are generally considered to have more growth potential than large cap but may have higher risk than large caps mid cap companies are still growing and expanding their operations making them attractive to investors seeking balance of growth and stability you can consider them as dl the last is the small cap companies these stocks of companies which has lowest market capitalization below 5000 crore small cap companies are often in their early stages of growth and may have significant growth potential however they also tend to be more volatile and carry higher risk compared to large cap and mid cap stocks investing in small cap stocks can be more speculative but may offer higher returns for investor willing to take additional risk you can consider them as rabbit so it's small can take a lot of big steps but they are they are more vulnerable in the environment please note that market capitalization is not a fixed category and the classification of stock can change over time as the stock price and outstanding shares fluctuate additionally there are categories such as micro cap and mega cap which are sometimes used for further differentiate the stocks based on their market capitalization sectoral classification of stock refers to the categorizing stock based on industry or sector to which the company is belong each stock is associated with specific sector that represent the primary area of business in which the company operates this classification is useful for investor and analysts to understand composition of their portfolios and assess the performance of different industries common sectoral classification include metals pharma it fmcg pharma uh, fast moving consumer goods banks healthcare etc you can find stocks belonging to these particular sector on the slides the next is a very important concept for a novice investor called as blue chip stocks blue chip blue chip refers to the stock issued by a large well established financially strong company with an excellent reputation in the market these companies have a long track record of successful operations and are often considered industry leaders the term blue chip comes from the world of poker where blue chips have typical most valuables the key characteristic of blue chip stocks are they are established companies they are sector leaders they are financially sound uh, it involves moderate uh, lower risk moderate to lower risk in purchasing them and they often gives moderate returns but they are stable some well known examples of blue chip stocks in india include tata consultancy services reliance industries itc limited infosys hindustan unilever HDFC and SBI these companies are household names and are part of benchmark indices like uh, sensex or nifty so it reflects their significance in the stock indian stock market 
these stocks are especially for long term investor looking for reliable and less volatile investment options now selection of stock require careful consideration and adherence to certain principles to increase likelihood of successful investment there are some key elements that you should keep in mind you need thorough study before investing in any stock it is essential to conduct thorough research and analysis it involves studying company's financial statement understanding its business model evaluating its comp uh, comparative advantage over the similar indus industries and assessing its growth factor lot of things you need to consider the second is patience successful stock investing requires patience it is essential to avoid making hasty decisions based on short term market fluctuations instead investor should have a long term perspective and be prepared to hold on to their investment for an extended period the next is thing you need is monitoring even after stock market uh, making an informed investment decision or if even after making an informed investment decision monitoring the performance of chosen stock is essential keeping track of company's progress quarterly earning reports and all the financial documents you should monitor continuously and you need to monitor the stock price also now churning of portfolio is required while monitoring is crucial excessive trading or churning of the portfolio is detrimental but it is sometimes it is required also the stocks which are not performing you should sell them the stocks which you see can perform you should buy them so the churning is should not be done frequently but periodical churning is required so in short stock selection is indeed a complex process that requires significant amount of time experience and knowledge so it involves analyzing various factors uh, company financials industry trends uh, national economy global economy global events and lot of things so if you want to understand some stock selection a complete day session of 8 hours is required after that you have to study it on your own and then only you can come to certain conclusion for a common man with limited time and resources it's not practically feasible so what is the solution the solution is that for beginners investing in blue chip stocks is often recommended for several reason as blue chip stocks uh, carry very low risk blue chip companies are well established and financially sound companies uh, which reduces risk associated with their stocks they tend to have hinder uh, history of stable performance even during uh, economic downtime making them safer option for investor which have lower risk tolerance like you know sbi is never going to collapse they give moderate returns while blue chip stocks may not offer extremely high returns like small cap or mid cap stock they typically provide steady and moderate returns over long term for beginners uh, who prioritize stability and consistent performance uh, blue chip stocks is an attractive future blue chip stocks are often market leaders so government or industry cannot afford the fall of market leaders in summary stock selection requires thorough study of companies patience to allow investment to grow continuous monitoring of portfolio and strategic and adjustment when necessary for beginners blue chip stocks are recommended starting point due to their low risk and stable performance as 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 an investor when you gain experience and confidence you may explore other investment options like other stocks like mid cap stock and uh, small cap stock based on their risk appetite and financial goals so this is the performance some of the blue chip stocks over last 5 years so first column shows return over one year these are year on year returns yearly basis returns then second is three year return and 
the last is five year return so every year if you take last three years asian pens has given almost 26% return on yearly basis these are some of the websites that can help you for stock stock selection So this is all about uh, today's lecture. So remember, stock selection is very uh, complex process. Investing in the blue chip stocks, blue chip stock will grow steadily. If you keep invested in blue chip stock like uh, five years, ten years, you will it will yield wonderful returns. So thanks for watching uh, today's lecture. See you in the next lecture. Thank you.